Welcome back to part three of my Herbert of Vermandois game. In the previous part, we tried and failed to have a bastard son with our ex-lover, now ex-lover. We've taken celibacy. Our character is in poor health. We have not had a warning yet that we're going to die, so we still have at least a year. And we're just working on preparing our succession right now. We had our middle son take the vows. Um... I have to find something to do with our third son here. Or maybe we'll just end up going to war with him and taking the uh, taking the lion back once he inherits it naturally. So right now it looks like we're going to be playing our firstborn son as we originally anticipated. He's had a daughter. A granddaughter of ours. Uh, hopefully he can have a son kind of strengthen our succession here a little bit. There is always kind of the, the danger now that you can get these um, diseases anytime. They'll just come in and wipe out half your family and sometimes all of your sons with it. So it, it's definitely good to have some backups. I don't want to have all my sons take the vows. Uh, and then if something happens to him, we're kind of screwed. It's not what we want to have happen. We're also just kind of waiting for our neighbor here. He got this stupid buff again. This guy's 64, he's laughing at us. We're about to die in our 50s. Uh, I kind of thought our alliance would go away. <laughs> but it's it's been very persistent. I didn't think it would last this long. I'm just going to go for defensive negotiations and then embassies, I think. I could give some consideration to doing this. It It looks like we could win. You know, we need Calabria to come up here. Without it, we are actually weaker than this guy and his ally. Uh, but she's not in a war, so she might do it. Although it's it's definitely dicey, because if she gets into her own war, then she'll immediately pull back her troops and not come here. And then on top of that, we're also going to have to use this, like, attacked an ally thing. And I, I don't generally like to do this. But I will give consideration to it if I absolutely need to. Wow, that's a huge culture, actually. It took a huge bite out of French... So did this duke do that, in, I guess? Yeah. Arption? Arpiton? Whatever. Oh, my daughter's ill now. She's become a drunkard in her 20s. Uh, she's got consumption. Hopefully she can hang on. It's been a, it's been a rough go for her. <laughs> she's lost two husbands. One of her children. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, no, it's been a it's been a rough twenty four years for Adele. We won't pass any judgment on her drinking. I'm gonna build this to buff my archers and to keep my capital a little bit more safe. We have uh, a decent amount of gold anyway. I would really like to expand. I feel maybe the barracks as well. One fifty. Yeah, I I might actually build that as well. Probably should have gone for a better uh, wife for our heir. Oh, now she's in a war. See, this is a good thing that we didn't actually go for that. That would have been disastrous. So we'll join. Um, yeah, she's in real trouble. This is a war against the tyranny. So if she's going to get deposed if she loses, who is actually her heir? Some random countess. As much as I would like to keep her as an ally, I don't think I really care. She's just a little bit too far to be relevant. Oh, it looks like the HRE lost some of its uh, Italian holdings. Tuscany is now independent. Duchess Matilda. She's only had the one kid. Marietta. At least she got her uh, betrothed matrilineally. Compassionate, lazy, or gluttonous. Uh, none of this is good. Compassionate attacks his intrigue, and we are putting him in intrigue education. Lazy is just bad for everything. Gluttonous is, you know, horrible. I guess I'll make him compassionate, but I'm not super happy about it.
I was kind of planning on using him as a spy master, but he's almost certainly not going to be good enough at it now. If we make him compassionate, it'll at least increase the odds that he's willing to take the vows when he's 10. If not, I might end up just imprisoning him and forcing him to take the vows. How's this going over here? This guy has got 1,400 troops. This guy is our dynasty head. He's actually still Cathar. How's this the Holy Roman Empire and you haven't converted these people back? Nothing we can do about it, though. These guys got converted back. How's the land looking? Still a lot of Cathar land in there, actually. Wow. Uh, is this guy actually still Cathar? He is. Okay, interesting. Hm. Good to know. This guy just continues to, to soldier on. I don't think I'm going to outlive him. Can we ask him to do this now? No, he's not He's not into it at all. Not only that he's second in line, but also he's rowdy. Uh, our heir, having a son of his own, would bump that guy to third in line, so it would increase his likelihood to take the vows. But there's not really much we can do in that way. Your wife murdered someone. What are you doing? Oh! You murdered my ex-lover! Wow! I wonder if my son was uh, sleeping with her, or like trying to, or something like that. <laughs> or maybe she was seducing my son. So all these kids are... gonna be needing someone to raise them. Who better than the church? Yeah? Is that your kid? There you go. Can he become a knight for us? Let's see how that goes. Um, maybe we should get a little bit more stress just to get our character moving on. Oh no, let's just not let's not do that immediately. One more year and this guy can get another trait, and then maybe we can uh, convince him to take the vows. So you'll murder my ex-lover, but you're not doing anything else. This guy's actually going to war again. You're going to war with the King of England, bro? Are you making good choices? Your account. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not responsible for what you're doing. You, <laughs> that's really ballsy. He's actually got some allies. It's interesting. I'm just going to watch and see what happens, I guess. How are you still alive? You're just up to absolutely no good. It's pretty wild. So despite the fact that she murdered someone, uh, we don't really have a reason to imprison her. Oh, you're friends with him. Okay. Craven, shy, paranoid. Well, paranoid will help him be a better spy master. I'm not sure shy actually makes it more likely to take the vows. I don't think so. Craven might. Eh, just leave him craven, I guess. Imprison should be a hundred percent. Yeah. The tyranny sticks when you're French. It's kind of annoying. Half tyranny loss, and then also more fifty percent more tyranny gain. It's like it, it just sticks al around for a while, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to pass on to my next son. So if we do want to imprison him and just have him take the vows. It's, it should be fine, I think. I might end up doing that if he, if we get the warning that we're going to die. If not, I'll just hold off until he at least has a third trait. Because if he gets zealous, he'll take the vows almost certainly. Having a grandson by my firstborn would be the best possible thing right now. So it looks like my daughter has recovered from consumption. 
her other daughter was also murdered, so now she is no longer there. Let's just take flagellant, I guess. Oh, and the wound treatment failed. Okay, we're probably going to die very quickly then. She's gotten remarried to this fellow, who is the son of that guy. Oh, he's got consumption too. She's probably going to lose another husband. <laughs> and she's had a kid by him as well. Three kids by three men. Two of the men have died. Two of the kids have died. It's been it's been very rough for her. If we're being honest, it's been very rough. She's not had a good time down here in Calabria. So what are we doing here? Yeah, um, I'm not sure if we'll get a warning actually. If like, technically this isn't natural causes, right? We may get a warning. I'm not not certain. Uh, maybe we can just give him temperate. Temperate. And then you take the vows? 15%. Okay, we can at least ask him. What's the worst he can say? He said no. Okay, so come here. I wasn't really asking. I was telling. Take the vows. There you go. So <laughs> our pitiful inheritance of two counties. Both going to go to our son and heir. He's got great traits. He's got an okay education. He's got at least a daughter. We might have to do something about his wife. He might need a new wife. We'll see. If we are going to get rid of her, we should probably do it on this character. Ah, we can find a way to do it on the next character if we absolutely need to. I am going to build these um, barracks, though. Buff our men-at-arms damage a little bit. We've got plenty of gold right now, anyway. How's this going? War against the tyranny. Looks like, yeah, they're for sure going to lose that. How's this going? You're actually winning that war <laughs> against the King of England. Uh, what's what's up with him? Okay, he's got two wars. Uh, okay, that's why. Interesting. How's this guy doing? Okay, he's finally in poor health, at least. He's certainly going to outlive me, though. Either way, the alliance will be broken, and we'll be able to start going to war here. It's kind of unfortunate that I paid for both of these claims and was unable to use them on this character. They're not going to pass on, so we're going to have to go and get the claim again on our next character. Not much you can do about that, though. Okay, we're not near death anymore. But we're still in poor health. Still didn't get the warning that we're going to die. Oh, was that him? He finally died. Died of old age. Oh, maybe we could actually do this now. We can press one of these. I'm going to do this. Okay, so... He wins the war. His alliances are gone. He's much more powerful than me. So if I don't have any allies, I can't actually call anyone. So <laughs> it's kind of like the problem still persists. He's got mercenaries that are going to go away, but he's still going to be stronger than me. So we can't really do anything right now. Unfortunately, can't take advantage of that. It's embarrassing that England is losing these wars. How is your army so small, bro? What happened here? King Richard? Interesting. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. We got these sons to take the vows. Um, I guess we could, with our granddaughter, maybe, if there's someone, like, in the really nearby area, because we need someone close to actually help us. Venice is strong, but kind of far. Uh, we might actually have to play this granddaughter, too, so a lot can go wrong here. He's not too far, I guess. I don't know if I want to push my lock here. Like, the, when this thing's here, you should get a warning pretty damn quick that you're going to die. I hate losing these claims, but I think I'm just going to have to let them go. 
timing is just not right. We would need to rely on an ally. And until they actually have another kid, we might have to play her, so... Yeah. Just let that one go. I'm surprised by this. Maybe I'll, uh... Flagellate. Hiya! It's a miracle! Right? Didn't really do much. We do have a really good physician. You're a wet nurse and you're still not having more kids. Okay, my wound has healed, apparently. Still in poor health, so the warning can still come anytime, but somehow I was able to uh, not die there. So it looks like he won a war too. So this guy won a war here. This guy won a war here, and then the, the king won a war here. So like they're slowly chipping away at this. The, the army here is just absolutely decimated. Everyone's getting in on it. Buy claim? <laughs> Technically, I, I could do that. I, I don't know. Oh, wow, he's super weak. Ugh. Yeah, no, I just... I'm just gonna let this go. I'm not gonna go to any more war on this character. Because the second I do it, we're actually gonna get the warning that we're gonna die. I feel like I should be playing this guy by now. 32. I guess he's not too old, at least. We'll just flagellate on cooldown whenever we can. Our barracks are almost done, so our men-at-arms are going to be pretty powerful. I'm trying to decide if I actually want to keep this Pilgrim's Quarters here. Plague Resistance is decent. A little bit of piety, a little bit of tax. Uh, these outposts I don't build very often. You can't build them in most places. It actually gives armor damage and toughness, 510. Whereas the Militia Camps give 20% damage. I think I do like the idea of the damage a little bit better. Uh, and then you get the levies from this one. And what does this one give? 50 levies. Okay. It gives a little bit of tax. It's pretty damn close. I think I'll just go for the militia camps. We're losing a little bit of gold here, but our archers are going to be really strong. Oh, we actually did get some money from the Pope. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Anything else here that we should be building? I might just go for the cattle pastures. Blacksmiths. Station men at arm damage. Give some night effectiveness. It's not too bad. The cattle pastures are just like very strong overall though. A little bit more gold. Yeah, okay, let's go for it. We've got the gold to spend right now anyway. Oh, you're... Okay, wow. So now they're allied to each other, husband and wife. This makes it a lot harder to expand. I, I feel kind of just stuck right now. We'll find our way out of it eventually. I just need alliances, basically. So I need kids. So I need these two to have kids, but they're just not doing it. Okay, no more wet nurse. Our son has actually... Oh, he's got 14 intrigue. Not quite good enough. She's way better at it. Yeah, if you guys want to leave, that's fine. She's almost of age. <laughs> she's 15. I'm going to get her married right away for sure because she's like my only viable person to play. Because if nothing comes of my granddaughter, then we're playing her, my daughter, who's 31 and married patrilineally and already has two kids outside the family, so it can get ugly pretty quick here. Okay, 
another stack of archers, I guess. I feel like I'm just sitting around waiting to die right now. Do I just go and pay homage? Yeah, let's go for it, you know. <laughs> Cause me some stress. There we go. He gets a weak hook on me. No, I don't want that. All right, wh what's what's going on here? Like, <laughs> we ha we have to get the warning soon that we're gonna die. Okay, thank you. I feel like I've been exceptionally torturous towards my character, and he just keeps persisting. <laughs> so we will become our next character within a year here. Because we don't need to flagellate anymore. Uh, we'll probably just immediately start seducing our wife. Oh, see, our granddaughter is 16 already. So <laughs> she gets Holy Warrior, Skilled Tactician. Uh, unfortunately, she got Gluttonous as a third trait. I should have just been raising her. Yeah, no, probably don't want someone, not a ruler, not lowborn, not too old. Maybe an inheritable trait would be nice. Ooh, interesting. Okay, Herculean. He'll be a good knight for us. Uh, or we can get one of these intelligent fellows. How about younger side? Anglo-Saxon. How about Frankish? Okay, this is a pretty short list. Don't want someone chased. We want them to have kids. Uh, I might just go with him. This guy's Lombard here. Ooh, consumption. He does have quick, though. I like that. No, let's just go for Herculean. Let's go for Herculean. I like the health boost. Okay, so he's here already. We could make him like an accolade knight or something like that. No, let's just wait. Who's this? Okay. Are you in my court? They're both in my court. Okay. My uh, my daughter's sons, the ones that actually lived. All right, we're all done building these buildings. Our character should be passing away pretty quick here. Guess we just wait for that to happen. Hopefully they'll have kids right away, if not my uh, son having some. So I might just stay married to my wife. And if we have another kid, great. And if we don't, that's fine. And then we can find a lover of some kind. And then if we have a son that we want to play, we can just legitimize him. Because hopefully by then we'll at least be the, uh, the head here. We'll continue to keep expanding, hopefully, on this character. Uh, and we'll go that way. And if not, then we'll just play through our uh, daughter's or our granddaughter's line. Found peace in Christ's embrace at 63. Flagellated himself to death. Energetic and collected, he will surely improve the realm under his rule. Okay. Hopefully. 29 years. Not very productive. But you know, worse things have happened. I like having a kind of small realm anyway. So what's he doing? He's trying to go down August. Uh, I'm going to go family focus for the fertility. I don't think I'm going to stay here. Not sure how our stress actually looks right now. It's completely empty. Okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that right now then. I'm going to get groomed to rule. And I'm going to go down here. And we'll go finish Diplomat. So he's actually a good Chancellor. Maybe we'll put him in there. Our son-in-law. The rest of you are all still pretty good here.
Oh. Oh, interesting. She's trying to seduce me, and she is the one with this land here. And they have a daughter together. Unfortunately, I think that even, even if we expose the secret that her son would be ours, you know, if she has a son that's ours, then it's still going to be technically in his house. Uh, it's it's just going to have that, like, questionable, legit, questionable lineage or whatever it is. So I, I don't think there's any way for us to actually get her land like that. Uh, unless we kill her husband, then that's actually the way that we could do it. Either way, we'll let her go for it. Uh, and now, even though she's seducing us, she's trying to demand that we send our nephew to her. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, actually. You're not going to declare war on me, are you? They, there's a claim here, so there's the potential for it. That's actually kind of scary. They have a lot of troops. Okay, so our brothers are both in our court, but they're not really good at anything. Our daughter is already married. And I guess we just raise our nephews. Here, we'll make you French. And then you are hunchbacked. We'll make you French as well. Yeah. Okay. So probably what I'll do on this character is go on a university visit. We got a lot of gold for now. Wallachia. What are you doing that for? I don't think he's going to ask us. We're only a count. Not that big of a deal. I need to find a way to get this land. It's, it's really annoying, actually. Do I try to kill this guy? It seems very unlikely. We could potentially do it. We have a lot of money to bribe. It's more just the alliance that's kind of screwing us over. If we could have her kid be in our house and legitimize him, that would be a great way. We could inherit all this land automatically. But there's too much standing in the way, considering that we can't even legitimize kids until we get the head, and we can't really get the head until we get more land, and we can't really get more land until we can expand somewhere. Which is kind of awkward right now. I guess one of the things that we can do is just... Um, get claims on, like, random pieces of land, like this and this. Duke of Burgundy and here. Oh, jeez. You, you, you technically don't have to have your land touching. It's just going to take a while to actually fabricate these claims. It'll have to be inside our realm. Maybe I should just end up doing that. This is just, it's too hard to see an end to this situation here. He's a kid, but the Pope is still not willing to give us a claim on the land. That would have been really nice. Maybe we can get that. If we hadn't requested gold, he'll be a kid for a little bit longer. Let's keep an eye on that. The Pope likes us a little bit more. We would just need to form some type of alliance here, and then we could press our claim on that duchy title. That would be a good amount of land. We would actually be pretty close to being able to claim the kingdom title if we did that. He's only got the one duchy title, so all those vassals would become ours. Yeah, I think that's the way that we have to do it. I wish I would have seen that before I uh, asked the Pope for gold. Because he would like me more, more right now if I hadn't done that. So what we'll hope for is this guy getting a sinful trait. Uh, if we don't raise him, will you? No. Too bad. We could raise him and try to deliberately give him a, uh, <laughs> a sinful trait to get the Pope to hate him and give us a claim on his land. Big brain tactics. Didn't quite work out, though. He's not willing to do it. Minus two. Yeah, like we should be able to get there over time. The only way that it really screws up here is if when he turns 13 he gets a uh, virtuous trait. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen. Uh, let's seduce our wife. She's got some years left where she could still give us a kid, and that's definitely just the best thing for us right now. If not, then we need our daughter to do the, de the deed here. 
I'm going to start looking for a new physician since she's apparently not good at it anymore. Yeah, once you become infirm, you're not, uh, you're not great at it. I don't want to be reclusive. We can find something to do. Oh yeah, let's let's host the funeral actually. That's what we need to do. Host the funeral for our father. Lots of stress drop and we'll probably get like a level of devotion out of it too. Yeah, let's just get this out of the way. Oh yeah, there we go. Thirteen hundred from Stag Antler. Okay, sure. It's like a full level of devotion right there. Drop a lot of stress, get a lot of piety, get our legitimacy up as well. And in a claim on my title. That's good. All right. It's good to be home. Uh, maybe we just go and pay homage to him as well. short adventure here. A just leash after all. Okay, there we go. Got some renown. Okay, there we go. And our daughter is pregnant, so at least we'll have something else as a backup. And she's had a son. Ooh, Maurice. He got Herculean. That's really great. Okay. Now we're cooking. Can we get the claim here? Minus seven. Man, that's not cool. What did he do? Because he's shy? Hmm. Interesting. Well, we'll try to figure it out. I am going to be continuing this on in the next part, though. Hopefully getting a duchy title or expanding my land in some way it's just it's been kind of stalled i haven't really been able to get anything going here uh, but at least the future is bright with young maurice here thank you for watching this if you enjoyed it please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one